Hey guys, welcome back to the Sprout Pool channel. In this video, I will go over our stake pool server setup. Um, first off, all of our servers are deployed into our VPC, which is a virtual private cloud. Um, we have two availability zones. Um, one of them has the producer and one of the relays. And the second one has the backup producer, uh, the second relay, our monitoring and bastion host. And we have four subnets, um, two private subnets, and then two public subnets. And then we have um, four security groups, which are um, virtual firewalls that um, control the inbound and outbound traffic to the servers. Um, we have one for the producers, one for the relays, and one for the monitoring, and one for the bastion host. And for the private subnets, we have a um, NAT device, which stands for Network Address Translation. And it's there to map multiple local IPs to one public IP, which allows us to um, request, um, make requests to the internet, but the internet can't make requests um, to the servers themselves. And um, for the public, for the public subnets, we have a a standard in internet gateway, which allows us to communicate with um, the Cardano network as well as our local machine. For SSH access, we only have access from the local machine to the Bastion host. And then from the Bastion host, um, we have access to all the individual servers. So we have a, um, a key file that gives us access from here to the Bastion host and then each security group has its own uh, key file, which are um, all encrypted with passwords. So we have uh, multiple layers of security there. And then for our local um, setup, we have a few local VMs that um, serve a few purposes. Um, for example, we use them to create and sign transactions. So rather than having the all the pool keys sitting on the servers and then signing transactions there and then sending them to the network. Um, we do all of that on the um, local machine and then we um, send only the signed transaction to the server and then submit it from there. Um, so that way the pool keys and the wallet keys are always on the cold storage. And we also use the local VMs for compiling binaries so rather than pulling code um, onto each server individually and then compiling the code on each server individually, um, we can do that on the local VM first. We can test any, any changes, any updates, and then all we have to do is um, push the binaries to every server, which uh, takes seconds, um, while the compiling itself can take um, sometimes hours and doing that on each server separately would be uh, quite a waste of time and um, unnecessary downtime. We also use the local VMs as a sandbox environment so we can uh, play around with updates or um, new tools, uh, custom scripts and stuff like that. And yeah, for the cold key storage, we have um, all of our pool keys and wallet keys stored on multiple encrypted uh, USB devices, as well as um, the private keys are backed up in physical form in multiple physical locations. Um, so that way we don't risk losing our pledge or um, just losing control of the, of the stake pool itself. And yeah, that's it for our architecture. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you learned something. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will make sure to answer um, all of the comments. Um, yeah, we'd appreciate if you guys uh, stake with Sprout Pool. Um, ticker is SPRO. And yeah, thanks for watching.